everyone, I'm Chloe from Uni Days and today I'm here with Gautham and we are here to create some gorgeous makeup looks using some Morphe palettes. Hey guys, I'm Gautham. I'm a student and a makeup artist and the founder of Beauty by Gautham J on Instagram. So today we'll be creating this emerald green smoky eyed look on me and then this nice pink sunset eye on her. So Morphe have been so generous to send us some palettes. So today we'll be using the Morphe times James, James Charles, the mini palette and the Jaclyn Hill palette, volume one and two. And what was the other one that we were using, Gautam? We'll be using the um, Morphe contour palette, the um, 8R that, That's Rich. So I'm not so great with eyeshadow. So Gautam here will be talking me through what to do and how to do it, where to put it. And I am so excited for you guys to see this look. Cool. Let's get into it. Yeah. So we're back and we've just finished off our bases. We're looking a little flat, so we're just going to be using the Morphe contour palette and it's the 8R That's Rich and it's a very dark complexion with a bit of a blush and highlighter and bronzer and brightening. So Galvin will be using the bronzers in this one and then I'll go in with the blush once he's done just to rosy up my cheeks a little. So we'll see how well he does that yeah. with his <laughs> gorgeous technique. Do you have any tips and tricks for bronzer? Um, that you can think of? I guess when it comes to bronzering your face, it's more about going very soft and light. So instead of going straight in with a contour color, which is more of the dark scale, I go for like a more bright or more towards, I guess you can say like more closer to my skin tone, but mm -hmm. just a bit darker. So it just roses it up and it just gives you a bit of definition, but it's not over empowering and like too contoured and you don't just have like those lines and shapes that you would yeah. normally have. I tend to go very light with my hand as well, just like very light in circular motion. So you get it a bit everywhere and then just go pretty much. I go all around. So I do a three pretty much. So mm -hmm. I go, Oh, I see what you mean. so yeah. you go from the middle of your forehead and go around around your cheekbone area underneath and then down to your chin. Nice. But because I've got my beard, I don't necessarily go down there because it's already giving me like that dark def def defined um, chin, yeah. Nice, so. that is a good tip. Light handed and in the shape of a three. Hey guys, so now I will be taking you through my part of how I will be doing my eyes. Um, I will be going into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. So this palette is more based on the neutral tones and you've got a bit of a few public colours of like the emerald greens that I will be going into today. So to start the eyes, I went in with my M441 brush and used creamsicle and silk cream in my crease as a transition shade as well as to deepen the crease. So using packing motions, I went in with my M433 brush using Chip and Central Park to define the outer corner of my eye. Now using a dense brush, I went in with the first two shades again to make sure that everything was blended seamlessly. Then using packing motions with the same M433, I went in with Ibis and used it to smoke out the outer corner, but also blended in with Central Park and Chip to make sure that everything was blended nice and smooth coming into the inner corner, ready for its shimmer. Now using a packer brush, I went in with the shade Diva, which was that royal emerald green Sprinced it with a bit of my NYX setting spray and popped it right into the inner corner coming to the middle of the eyelid. Sprinting your brush will always make the colour more pigmented when it lands on your eyelid and make sure that you don't get any fallout. Now going into my bottom lash line, I went in with Central Park and Chip um, closer to my waterline and then used the first two shades, Crimsicle and Silk Cream, to buff it out to make sure that everything was nice and blended. Now that one eye is complete, I will now go off camera and finish off the second eye while Chloe comes and shows you how she does her eye look. I'll be doing a pinky 
peachy summery eye look today which is suitable for my skin tone. So I will be using the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2 and the Morphe X James Charles Mini Palette which I'm really excited to use today. Firstly, I'm going in with Certified from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Palette with a fluffy brush and spreading that over my eyelid as a base colour. I'm using the same fluffy brush with Phil and myself and blending that into my crease. I'm gradually building up the colour to get it where I would like and the nice pop of orange. To blend this out nicely, I'm using Perfectionist and blending upwards from my crease to blend the two colours together for a seamless look. Now I'm mixing My Man and Positive T to enhance the colour in my crease and blending that further down my eyelid. For this, I'm using a tapered fluffy brush. Here I'm using a flat packing brush with the super vibrant No Joke and building that up until I'm happy with the colour. I really do think this is my favourite colour in the palette, it is so happy and vibrant. I'm looking back and forth at Galvin for guidance on this one as he's full of so many great tips and tricks when it comes to all things makeup. Now I'm going back into my crease to give it some depth with a small tapered brush using Code James from the James Charles Mini Palette. I'm lining my waterline with Next and a thin lining brush to get really close to my eye. I'm blending this out with a dense brush and perfectionist to give my under eye a really smoky look. To brighten my inner corners, I'm using a tapered brush and Ride or Diamonds which is so so sparkly. To pack this on a bit more, I'm using the Morphe setting spray to wet my brush before dipping back into the pan to give it a really coveraged look. I'm really not great at putting on lashes, so Gautam is kind enough to pop them on for me. We think they're way too big as I have a pretty small face. <laughs> I feel yeah, they like are they're really big. <laughs> the lady of Empress New Group. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, I'm lining my eye lightly with Temptress on a thin, wet brush. I've used some mascara to coat my top and bottom eyelashes to finish off the look. All our eyes are done and looking all pretty. So we're just going to be finishing off the rest of our faces. So we'll go into highlighter, lips, and setting spray. So I will be using the matte wifey in this beautiful, like a pinky mauvey color. Yeah. So I'll be doing an ombre lip. So I'll be going in with my dose of colors, um, cork lips, um, matte lip, and then I'll be going in with the shade. For Ebbs by Morphe. Hey guys, so we're back with our lips done. So now we're just going to be going into highlighter. Um, I'll be using the uh, Morphe 8R um, contour palette that I got. And um, what about you? I will be using the Morphe X James Charles mini palette and I'm going to be using one of the lighter shimmer colours as my highlight because I'm quite fair and I don't want it to be too overpowering on my cheek. No worries, fair enough. So um, we're just going to be going in. So what I like to do is um, just grab my brush and then I take the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray and just give it a good sprint. <laughs> Did you want to... Just give it a good spritz and then just, yeah, just go in and highlight for the gods. <laughs> wow. I know. So now we'll be doing the final step of everyone's face just to make sure that everything stays in place for... If you're going for a night out, going for a long day at work, and I will be using the mattif Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. And um, yeah, so we're just going to give ourselves a good sprint. Ready? Yes. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> so nice and refreshing. Distraction. We should both just keep living our lives. I've got a thing, you know that this was better. Wanna take it back, you know I still remember. Can you add 
so now we're here with the finished look and I, in my opinion, we both look great. We look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> I'd like to thank Morphe for sending us the product and sponsoring this video. And I'd like to remind all you students out there that Morphe do do a 10% off discount with uni days that he's always on. So feel free to check that out. Oh,